in the remote northern reaches of the Atlantic Ocean, nestled between Canada and Iceland, lies Greenland, the world's largest island. Situated within the Arctic Circle, Greenland is a vast, frozen expanse dominated by ice and snow, with temperatures that can drop to a bone-chilling minus 30 degrees C. Despite its harsh environment, Greenland is home to one of the most ambitious infrastructure projects in the Arctic, a series of three airports that will redefine the island's connectivity. This $700 million project involves blasting through 6 million cubic meters of solid rock to create runways over 2,200 meters long. These airports will serve as critical hubs, capable of handling larger aircraft and increasing Greenland's accessibility to the world. But what drives such a monumental effort in such an unforgiving landscape? If you've looked at this vast expanse of ice and snow in Greenland, you might see a seemingly endless, barren landscape. An arctic wilderness where temperatures plummet far below freezing, and where civilization clings to the edges of the coast. For years, Greenland has been searching for a way to break free from its dependence on a narrow range of industries, particularly fishing. The island's leaders knew they needed to diversify, to build a future that wasn't tied to unpredictable seas. Tourism seemed like the perfect answer, with its breathtaking landscapes, pristine wilderness, and unique wildlife. Greenland had all the ingredients to become a world-class destination for adventure seekers. But there was a problem. Getting there was a challenge that many weren't willing to take. The island's limited infrastructure meant that most international flights landed far from the capital, Nuuk, or other key destinations, forcing travelers to endure multiple flights on smaller propeller planes just to reach their final stop. This logistical nightmare was a significant barrier to the kind of tourism that Greenland needed. The island's airports were too small, too remote, and too outdated to handle the influx of visitors that could transform its economy. The lack of direct international connections made Greenland seem even more distant, more unreachable. Something had to change. And so the vision for a new Greenland began to take shape. One where modern infrastructure could bridge the gap between this arctic frontier and the rest of the world. By the late 2010s, plans were underway to build new airports in strategic locations, starting with Nuuk, the heart of Greenland's government and culture. These new airports would feature long runways, capable of accommodating larger aircraft, making direct international flights possible. The goal was ambitious, to cut travel times, increase accessibility, and open up Greenland to a global audience. But this was no ordinary construction project. Building in the Arctic is a test of endurance, ingenuity, and sheer willpower. The challenges are immense. Permafrost that turns the ground into concrete, extreme weather that can halt progress for months, and the need to protect the delicate Arctic environment. Yet, the stakes were high, and the rewards even higher. As the first planes prepare to land on these new runways, one question looms large. What was the construction journey like for this unique project? From the onset, the challenge was clear. How do you build a modern airport in such a hostile environment? Traditional excavation methods were simply not an option. The permafrost, coupled with massive layers of rock, required a radical approach. Engineers turned to a method more commonly associated with tunneling projects. Blasting. Over 6 million cubic meters of rock had to be blasted away at the nuke site alone, an amount that is more than twice the volume of the Great Pyramid of Giza. This was not just a demolition job, it was a precisely calculated operation where every blast had to be meticulously planned to ensure the stability of the remaining structures and the safety of the crew. The sheer scale of the excavation was staggering. But the challenges didn't stop there. Once the rock was cleared, it needed to be repurposed. The construction teams didn't just discard this material. They ground it down and used it to build the very foundations of the airport's runways and infrastructure. This recycling of materials was not only efficient, but necessary. Given the logistical challenges of transporting additional construction materials to such a remote destination, 
Nuke's new runway, a centerpiece of the project, required a phased construction approach. The southern end of the runway was completed first, to allow continued air traffic, while the northern end was still under construction. This strategy was essential in maintaining Greenland's limited air connectivity during the lengthy construction period. The runway, once completed, would stretch over 2.2 kilometers, making it capable of handling larger international flights, a significant upgrade from the previous facilities. In Lunasa, located on the west coast of Greenland, the construction of the runway presented an entirely different set of challenges. Part of the runway extended into the sea, requiring the removal of a thick layer of clay sediments. This sediment was then carefully backfilled to prevent future settlement and ensure the long-term stability of the runway. To accomplish this, a 200-ton crawler crane was brought in, capable of handling the heavy dredging operations necessary to prepare the seabed for construction. This crane, along with other specialized equipment, had to be shipped in from distant locations, adding another layer of complexity to the already formidable logistical challenges. The technical details of this construction were as demanding as the environmental conditions. The runways were designed not only to withstand the extreme cold, but also to facilitate safe landings in an environment where sudden gusts of wind, low-level fog, and snow-covered runways are the norm. To this end, Advanced Instrument Landing Systems ILS, were installed, providing pilots with the technology needed to land safely in conditions that would be challenging even for the most experienced aviators. Additionally, large stones were strategically placed along the edges of the runways to protect them from coastal erosion, a constant threat in this harsh Arctic environment. The construction in Greenland faced severe logistical challenges, where every piece of equipment had to be transported across treacherous, frozen seas. Weekly shipments were the lifeline of the project. A single delay could set the entire schedule back by weeks. In the isolation of the Arctic, crews braved long shifts in freezing darkness during winter, making every moment of the brief summer construction window count. From December to April, the ground was frozen solid, forcing all work to halt, while the short summer brought a race against time. Every day of bad weather or a misshipment threatened to unravel the project, turning meticulous planning and time management into a high-stakes game against the elements. Despite the meticulous planning, the project was not immune to delays. The Nuke Airport, originally scheduled for completion in 2023, saw its opening pushed back to late 2024. This delay was largely due to unforeseen challenges, including the global COVID-19 pandemic, which brought about new regulations and complications. In Alunasat, the situation was similarly fraught, with a 13-week delay caused by frozen waters that prevented the delivery of crucial supplies. These setbacks, though significant, were managed with the same level of precision and determination that characterized the entire project. The final stages of construction involved not just completing the runways, but also ensuring that the airports were equipped with the latest technology and infrastructure. Control towers, terminals, and service buildings were all constructed to modern standards, designed to withstand the harsh Arctic conditions. The Nuke Airport, once completed, will serve as the main hub for international flights, significantly improving Greenland's connectivity with the rest of the world. However, the Arctic's relentless climate turned even simple tasks into formidable challenges, with freezing temperatures pushing both equipment and workers to their limits. Construction teams labored around the clock, their every move choreographed to outmaneuver the unforgiving weather. Despite inevitable setbacks, the monumental 700 million USD project will reshape Greenland's future, opening doors to tourism and better access to essentials. More than just infrastructure, these airports will stand as a testament to human resilience, a triumph over nature's harshest trials. If you enjoyed this video, please like, leave a comment and subscribe for more content on architectural wonders.